Greetings and welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade. This is Hellfire for the Sega Genesis. If it says Seismic and Toa Plan somewhere on the game, you know it's got to be good. And it is good, but this is a game that lives up to its name, Hellfire. The instruction manual states it pretty clearly, escape from death is nearly impossible. Seriously, good luck with this one. Hellfire is one of the most challenging, insanely difficult side-scrolling spaceship shooters I've ever played. This 1990 release for the Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, has some styling similarities to the excellent Truxton and Fireshark, which are downright forgiving compared to this game. It starts off slow and easy enough, but you'll quickly become aware that one shot ends your spaceship, which looks neat with its little rotating thing. If you explode, you lose all of your power-ups and your speed upgrades, and it sends you back to a checkpoint like R-Type, which I personally find infuriating. You have four different weapon attack patterns, which you can rotate on the fly, and that's pretty much this game's thing. All of the enemies are positioned so that when you're flying through these caverns and space tunnels, you'll have to use all of your different guns to blow them up and survive. But wait, there's more. It has a story. Peace has embraced our galaxy for over 1,000 years. What kind of fictional galaxy is this? Now in the year 2998, I just flew right into a gunshot and wasted my shield. Way to go, moron. Anyway, something about a dark cloud invading the galaxy, a hero named Lancer who's the captain of an aircraft carrier named Sylphide, which kind of looks like Sylphide spelled with a typo. Fly through six levels of fast action and loads of deadly enemies, but don't think you can get out alive with blinding firepower alone. You'll need to utilize your four weapons with strategy and great prowess or super mech will eliminate you. Someone should tell the writers that you'll be eliminated long before super mech. You need to be insanely good at these games to play Hellfire. It has two difficulty settings, which it calls easy and hard. I'll call them impossible and even more impossible. I've been playing this game on and off for a while now, and it just kicks my ass every time and requires a level of precision that I frankly just don't have. I'm not good enough to play this game. You'll collect weapon and speed upgrades throughout the game, but the problem is after the second speed power-up, the ship becomes pretty much impossible to control. So somebody, somebody should have really given this thing a brake pedal. Now that's some Sega Genesis music right there. I'm watching the footage during editing here thinking, you know, this game doesn't look too bad, but I'll tell you, when you're playing it, it is nearly impossible not to fly right into stuff. This is, this is my best game of all time that I ever played. I'm fully powered up here with everything, so I'm getting crazy bonus points when I pick up power-ups. They just turn into Bs, which stands for bitchin'. 95% of my concentration is going into simply not crashing. Because when you're fully maxed out, you'll blow most of the things up without difficulty. Just don't run into stuff. Oh yeah, I always breathe easier when I collect that shield. A big thanks to our friend Ben from Buffalo, New York. Hey Ben, thanks for putting me in my place. You hoped that I would be better than you at this game? Well, <laughs> probably not, man. And what's with the friggin' space Egyptian shooting you in easy chairs? This is a super cool game for the Genesis if you're into these and are looking for something 
to challenge you if you're really, really good at video games. I've got six extra lives now, I had a whole lot of continues, but little good that'll do me when I crash into something and it strips away all of my weapon and speed power-ups. Can, can you sense the impending doom? Yeah, I'm screwed. Now just repeat that scene in your head about five times, that was the rest of that game. While recording this, I got a little bit further on a continue, but it just keeps backing me up to about the same spot. Hellfire requires a lot of time, a lot of patience, and you'd better be damned good at it. Cool game though, ask for it by name, Hellfire! Thanks again to Ben. Seriously, thanks Ben, thanks, thanks. <laughs>